Hello everyone and I am happy to announce that I have recovered from the Black Plague and I'm now ready to make more quality content. If you didn't already know, I ate some takeout food from this hole in the wall restaurant in the city that I live in, which I heard was pretty good and I won't lie, it was really good. Like, really good. But the aftermath was, um, how do I put it, not so pleasant? So, if you didn't know I was sick, then you should really join the Discord to get updates on when I am posting and streaming. Yes, you heard that right. I stream the games that go in these videos on Twitch, and you can get updates on those streams through my Discord. So make sure you go join the Discord and follow my Twitch, and hit that bell so you know every time I go live. Anyways, let's begin the tutorial to expand your brain. How to Gecko. Just know when you log on to Gecko, it's going to get all over your screen. You just have to accept it. It's a fact of life. But once you've gotten over that, you'll begin to realize that he's pretty strong. Even after Riot's quote, nerf, that I'm pretty sure wasn't actually a nerf, he still seems pretty strong, just as strong as he was before even. Gecko thrives off of his ability to plant the spike independently of himself with his cool ass dude. Just look at him. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh yeah, and he'll also stun enemies if he's not holding on to bomb, which is also pretty cool. Another really cool thing about Gecko is he can pick up two of his abilities and his ult and throw them out again, which means that you can use your ult up to two times in a single round, which is very, very strong. Okay, let's actually dive into some gameplay. I forgot to mention he's an initiator, so uh, yeah, he's an initiator. So to begin with Gecko's signature ability, his flash. He will throw out this little orb that will, in simple terms, splooge all over your enemy screen, blotting them for a duration allowing you to eliminate them with ease. It can also be used defensively to save your teammates from an enemy that's running right at them before you are able to eventually take them out with perfect ease or eventually just being able to take sight with the rest of them. Your flashes overall just super strong at taking sights. It lets you just run right at enemies without a second thought, and HOLY SHIT I'M ASS! If you're wondering what the counter is to Gecko, you can actually shoot the blind. You just have to have a reaction time faster than Aaron Judge when it comes time for the playoffs. I actually can't take any more. Just one World Series, please. But still, you can still win as long as the Gecko you're playing against couldn't hit water if they jumped out of a boat. But as I said earlier, Wingman playing the bomb for you provides such an advantage, and all you gotta do is protect the little guy from idiots trying to kill him. It's actually one of the easiest ways to win rounds in this game. All you gotta do is just kill him. Using your molly to stall and to push enemies where you want is great. And then, from there, it's actually pretty simple. All we gotta do is send Wingman out, eventually he'll lock onto a target and just stun him and it's a free round. But, I don't have to kill them. All I have to do is stall just long enough to the point that they can't even defuse the bomb, so... We'll just do a little ring around the rosy, and I die, but at what cost? Obviously the round in our favor, because I never lose. Flashing an alt player is my favorite thing to do, because there's literally nothing they can do to react fast enough to flick away, and then we can just send Wingman out to plant for us. It's really just too easy on this character, you don't have to do anything. And yeah, I, I think it's time to log off, my guy. I think you've had enough for one day. So your ult is also great against alt player, since there's really nothing they can do to destroy it, since it takes a lot more than one off shot. But What's not so great against your ult is a sage wall. So if you ever get caught in this position, it's probably just time to give up. Speaking of walls, I think this is a great time to talk about politics. Anyway, your flash is also really great for info since you can see in the direction of the flash when it targets people, which gives me intel on this neon and holy shit. When I get the sheriff in my hands, man, it's just over. Absolutely insane aim. All right, let's see how Fenberger handles this situation. Wow. Gecko's Flash truly may be one of the greatest tools for entry. Now, that's not something that other agents like Jet or Raze don't have better tools on paper. The only problem is Duelist players would rather wait until the entire team is dead before using any shred of utility so they can get meaningless 3Ks at the end of rounds, then say that they MVP'd in a 13-5 loss and it wasn't their fault because, hey, they had the most kills and got MVP. And you may be thinking of yourself, is he talking about me? If you just had that thought, then yes. Yes, I am. If you don't do that and you truly entry, then it never even crossed your mind if it's actually about you. I'm going to demonstrate something to you right now. This is called a bomb site. It's where the attacking team will go to try and win the round. Win. W-I-N. I, I know, it's a difficult term to spell and to understand what it truly means, but here's what's not hard to understand. Kills does not always equal wins. As seen by our match history, all those MVPs don't matter when they're all red. All those MVPs are absolutely meaningless when you've lost 300 RR in two days. Trust me, I know. When you as a duelist enter the bomb site first, you're allowing your team to take space and win the round due to the control that they now have thanks to your utility and movement, regardless of if you're getting kills or not. If you want to frag out and not have to entry, play agents like Gecko, Sky, Omen, or Clove. 
They all excel at fragging while also not having to entry, but they still fuse utility, so keep that in mind. I know that's difficult for a lot of you. So after this, I never want to see any of you locking in a duelist and then sitting back. If your entire team is dead and you look down at your utility bar and there's still utility left, you failed. The round is on you. Use your util. You'll win more rounds, I promise. All right, well, that was a long ramp. Let's get back. Your goal is great at stopping pushes while also getting some free kills in the process, and this should be perfect. And it is. A perfect ult and a stall. That's exactly what you want to look for. This also should be perfect. Combining it with our other utilities should equate to many free kills. So, as long as our Neon that we're playing against doesn't hit the most insane flick of all time, we should be fine. Wingman is great at helping us getting out of sticky situations by being able to stun the enemies before we reload and can retake sight. And wow, that is just actual just great aim. For, for once, I think it actually is. Well, you guys know me, the 4K God. Will it change this time after getting absolute insane kills? No. No, it won't. You might be wondering how I actually got out of this one, and if I'm done getting kills, but you guys know me. I'm never done. I always want more kills. And somehow, I actually do wind up picking not one, but two more kills after being on 21 HP. That's what it's like to be the best player in the world. Your blind is basically free kills, so make sure to use it to your fullest extent. And holy fuck! Does the sheriff feel good in my hands? It's really just unfair when I'm using this gun. So I assume based on this that everyone is detained, obviously, because that would be the normal choice. But I forgot that Riot is a small indie company that can't push updates that make sense or make the game better. So I'll just have to rely on my aim to win, but unfortunately, can't get them all. No. Wow, I can't believe yeah, my can. girlfriend thinks so you little hate of me. You <laughs> hate me. And you, you use me for views. <laughs> No, I also use you for subscribers too. Like, why would I stop at views? Obviously, I want to grow as a channel. And before anyone gets mad, yes, this is a joke. I love my girlfriend very much. She's great at this game, and it's just a little special sometimes, which makes for funny clips. But um, I love her very much. All right, let's watch her clutch up now. No, it's in the room. Or maybe not, because she doesn't realize that uh, they're they're right behind her. Bro. Sometimes you find a glitch so infuriating that you find yourself three inches away from punching a hole straight through your monitor. At first glance, you may think this is my fault, but I was stuck inside the wall, ping-ponging back and forth. Small indie company. Holy jump scare. Anyway, as I was saying before, wingmen can provide you with a great advantage. You're able to take space as wingman plants, which can put you in a great advantage. That has allowed us to just push forward at the speed of light without thinking anything of it. So as wingman plants, we can push forward and we see Omen back in kitchen halls and he blinds us thinking that that's going to stop us, but we're just going to run right at him so we can still see him. And I don't really know how this raise got there because I just ran from there, but it doesn't matter. We trade the kill anyway. And now with our ult up, we're on 13 HP in a 2v1. We just ult, secure the round, and that's that. There's nothing that Cyber can really do now that he's ulted, and round secured. People underestimate the judge, and by underestimate, I don't mean how good it is. I mean the amount of slurs that the enemy is screaming after you get killed by one. Hmm, I don't know what that was. Must have been the wind. Anyway. Did she just swing her melee and avoid the blind? What in the Matrix is going on? Man, this is the bullshit I'm talking about. Because that's not my fault. It's this stupid fucking game. We got motherfuckers out here dodging blinds with their melees. What is this piece of shit? Small? Indie company. You know, sometimes spamming your util really is all you need to win around. So you don't always need skill. Because I definitely didn't want to hit Immortal 2. You just gotta spam more. I fucking hate this game so much. Like, actually so much. I could go on and on about this character's abilities, but sometimes I gotta show off that I can still aim. Whether or not half my kills came from stationary targets is irrelevant since I'm the best player to ever touch this game, and you all know that if you've been here long enough. And if you haven't been here long enough, then you should go watch my other videos just to prove it. Now, this is a round. It's Definitely one of the rounds ever. I don't think I ever fired one bullet the entire round, still managed to win. And not only do I eventually manage to win, but I don't have to fire one single bullet. All I use is util. Just throw a molly, off bomb. Now I gotta wait for tap. Run across, see she's off bomb, run away. Throw a blind, I know there's no more time, and all I gotta do now, throw it, and just run away. And not only do I not fire a single bullet, the Reyna still manages to die, and I win the round. After the first degree manslaughter charges are brought against whoever the fuck killed Wingman, like who would do that? I have to go plant the bomb now, which kind of fucking sucks, but that's fine. Now killing the rest of them is now perfectly legal because retaliation, which is definitely allowed. So 
Now, all we gotta do is plant the bomb and we can get our revenge for them brutally murdering Wingman. So, let's see how that plays out. All that's left to do now is kill the remaining players. So, once we work our way over to Rafters, we notice the chamber and begin to push forward. And it's all over the screen. <laughs> 